Hello students, stay home, stay safe. Our next revision topic is transmission media. Transmission media is a physical part between center and receiver. Transmission media can be classified as guided transmission media or wired transmission media and unguided transmission media or wireless transmission media. And in every case, electromagnetic waves are transmitted through these transmission media. In case of guided transmission media, few mediums are optical fiber, twisted pair and coaxial cable. Few unguided transmission medias are radio transmission and satellite transmission. Let's cover guided transmission media or wired transmission media in this lecture. Twisted pair is one of the guided transmission media or wired transmission media which is very less expensive and most widely used one. The physical characteristics of twisted pair is as follows. It consists of insulated copper wires which is about 1 millimeter thick and these copper wires are twisted in helical form to avoid electromagnetic interferences. A bunch of such pairs are protected using a protective sheet. Types of twisted pair cables are unshielded twisted pair and shielded twisted pair. Unshielded twisted pair generally comprise of wires and insulators. Whereas shielded twisted pair have a braided wire mesh that encases each pair of insulated wires. The applications of twisted pair, twisted pair cables are used in both analog and digital transmission. It is commonly used for telephone networks, can be used in DSL lines and in LAN connectivity. Connectors used with the twisted pair cables are RJ45, which is the most commonly used connector for unshielded twisted pair and the term RJ stands for registered jack. Now let us see the transmission characteristics of twisted pair. Twisted pair helps to transmit signals kilometers without amplification but in case of analog signals Amplifiers are placed in each 5 to 6 km to amplify those signals. In case of digital transmission, repeaters need to be placed in every 2 or 3 km gap. The bandwidth supported is in the range 250 MHz to 600 MHz. Loss factor is moderate. It is noise resistant. Data rate to this cables can be about 4 Mbps. It is a cheaper cable. Connections can be done using soldering. Security taps can be added and attenuation is moderate. Next guided medium for transmission is coaxial cable. The Structure of coaxial cable is as shown in the figure. It consists of an inner conducting core which is covered by an inner insulator. The inner conducting core is normally a copper conductor which is used for transmitting signal. The Inner insulator is again enclosed using a woven braided metal cover conductor that act as a shield against noise. And the 
and they are in a part as again protected using a protective plastic cover this is a cross section of a coaxial cable transmission characteristics of a coaxial cable are coaxial cables provide better shielding than twisted pair it can be used in analog transmission as well as digital transmission for digital transmission a 50 ohm cable is normally used and for analog transmission or cable television transmission normally a 75 ohm cable is used it support high bandwidth higher noise immunity can be used for long distance telephone communication but the cost of coaxial cable is a little greater than twisted pair but it provide more secure transmission some special connectors are shown in the figure as used to connect coaxial cables applications of coaxial cables coaxial cables are normally used in analog telephone networks and in digital telephone networks it can be used in cable tv network transmission and in traditional ethernet lans coaxial cables are used for connectivity even in mans metropolitan area networks are connected using coaxial cable and the next guided medium is fiber optics optical fiber cables are transparent flexible fibers made up of glass or plastic material and this glass or plastic material allows light wave to pass through the structure of fiber optic is given on this slide and the figure is also given it has mainly three parts a inner core part cladding and an outer jacket core is a innermost portion of optical fiber through which the light propagates it is normally cylindrical in shape and is made of flexible glass of high refractive index the core part is also called optical wave guide because it is a main channel through which light waves are transmitted after core comes a part cladding which is a glass part the glass of cladding has a lower refractive index than the core part this enables total internal reflection of light waves in the core which eventually propagates light waves within the core and the outer coring part or jacket part is a thin plastic sheath or coating that can be opaque to light it prevents light rays from the outside to enter the optical fiber and connections of optical fibers can be used using subscriber channel connector which is used in cable tv connection straight tip connector used in connecting to network devices empty rj connector which is similar to rj connector used in twisted pair and the figure given here shows how light waves are transmitted through inner core by using the principle of total internal reflection now let us see how optical fiber transmit data an optical transmission system detect the presence of data and convert it into some light rays in the transmission medium transmit data as light and the detector at the destination generates electrical pulse when light falls into it few applications of fiber optics are 
Fiber optics are used in telephone systems, are used in submarine cable networks, used in data link for computer networks, CATV systems, used in connecting CCTV cameras, can be used for connecting fire, police and other emergency services. They have many industrial uses and also used for in heavy duty constructions. So these three are the guided transmission media that need to be covered in our syllabus. So these are important points need to be studied also. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.